the conceptual framework uh, that all my portraiture is drawn from is the uh, archival images and museology yeah. and uh, specifically the, the Tyndale archival images but also um, romantic notions of historical images of, of Aborigines. For me, the, 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 the Tyndale uh, photographs are, are a story about persistence and um, endurance. Mm. And I think that's the story of Aboriginal people. I was only aware of the Tyndale collection because my grandmother carried um, a few of them around in her purse and um, they were uh, three images, one of her mother, one of her father and one of her husband and, uh, and they were from 1938 in, in Palm Island. They were obviously archival, uh, they looked like mug shots, they were um, black and white and uh, the one of my grandfather struck me especially because he's young and it was the first time I'd seen him mm. young. And the ones of my great grandparents were um, were uh, unknown to me. I had never seen them before, and that was my my first uh, way of encountering Tyndale. It opened up a new world for me in terms oh. of my relationship to um, my grandfather and my great grandparents, and and I'm sure um, uh, for my whole family actually, because yeah. I've I've shown them to to my family and. Um, and uh, ev everybody just, you know, it's changed the way we, we think about, um, you know, a, a, the way history is, is recorded, uh, particularly on communities. That that's why uh, that's why all the all of these big portraits are essentially what what they they, they directly reference black and white photography. And that kind of historical practice of of scientific record, uh, the the scientific lens, but also given that the source material, the original source material inspiration for my portraiture is Tyndale, and specifically uh, images from 1938 on Palm Island, and so these are also kind of referencing that era of um, science. With these drawings, this, the background colour is called armour plated and there, there's a, it's a, it's a specific colour that, uh, that I have, have picked. It's a kind of, it's kind of neutral grey but it's, it's a little, it's slightly warmer. So it, it, it has a, it evokes some um, charcoal or, or, or some sort of natural stone rather than like a battleship grey. And so that's a specific choice in the background and all of the big drawings have the same colour. So because that choice is specific and this is the background that I'm using because I'm also referencing the, the, the neutral palette of black and white photography, I want that colour to come through the drawing, so I'm not dismissing it, I'm not trying to cover it up either. So this background is as much as a part of the face as, as anything else I've planned for it. So <clears throat> I don't want to layer uh, the, the charcoal and the pastel over the drawing to the point where I'm actually covering up this background cover colour. So because of that, this drawing is really quite sparse in areas, but it but it's also um, it also doesn't allow for mistakes. When I was first approached to produce um, an artwork for Cairns Art Gallery, uh, this is this is the drawing I had in mind. I just I thought immediately it would be good to produce a drawing of my father. 
uh, given that he passed away uh, three years ago. And, um, and then it was only after a little while thinking about it that, uh, that I thought it would be really good to actually locate myself in Cairns and produce the drawing in Cairns. And um, because I, I thought conceptually it makes sense to produce the drawing in Cairns where my mother lives and where I'm from and uh, you know my, my, my brothers and I were and, and my sister we were all born up here and uh, it's, this, is, this, this, uh, this area is who we are and, and it just made sense for me to come back here and do the drawing here because that would make, it would, it would do two things. It would make this, this, this artwork a canned story. The story of this artwork itself is a canned story, but the story of the subject is a canned story. And so it, it, I think it strengthens, it strengthens both stories to have done the, done the drawing here in Cairns.